Okay, so UEFA Nations League week here has officially begun. That's right, the Champions League season is over, and now it's time for some really fun international football. That's right, so we're going to now be preparing for watching the international break, aka the UEFA Nations League. That's right, and I know about two people, but I personally like the idea of the Nations League. I personally prefer it to weigh over, um, say, for example, international friendly matches and all that stuff. So that's what I want to kind of uh, talk about here, and that is the Poland versus the Wales matchup pretty that's right because obviously i'm going to be repping poland here in the uefa nations league tournament like how i do in world cups or when they qualify for the euros as well you know and speaking of world cups i'm also going to be repping usa as well at the same time but that's a whole nother topic for another video because now the uefa nations league here and poland are going to be facing wales that's right in wrocław in their first game in their first uh yeah in the first uh official matchup of the uefa nations league and i'm super excited for that you know poland playing wales uh it should be a very exciting matchup you know obviously for poland you got the main man lewandowski no intro needed here and for Wales, you've got the main man here, Gareth Bale, whose most recent incredible performance was over Austria in the FIFA World Cup qualifying playoffs when Gareth Bale scored a brace, including a very incredible free kick over Austria to help uh, Wales get that 2-1 to victory. So overall, man, uh, the Bale versus Lewandowski matchup hype, I think, is going to be absolutely insane, you know, because you look at the Wales national team, they are also another really good team, you know, like you don't want to count Wales out, you know, even though they missed out on qualifying for the 2018 World Cup. Uh, Gareth Bale with the Wales national team, he's proving that they still got it and they still are ready to take on any team. That's right. And it's going to be interesting to see if the Wales can qualify for the World Cup because obviously it's been a long time since Wales, I think, played in a World Cup. I can't remember when's the last time they played, but obviously uh, Gareth Bale and the Wales national team they have a really good opportunity to qualify here for the World Cup as well. And, you know, looking at the Poland and the Wales matchup, I think it's going to be a really great game, you know, for Poland specifically. Um, I definitely think Poland have a chance of getting a win here over Wales. And the way how I see Poland getting a win here is obviously seeing how well Poland's midfield can perform. Because obviously, the main man to watch out for on a Poland will obviously be Lewandowski, seeing if he can score a hat-trick or a brace to help Poland to get those uh, three points here, the first three points. So obviously... The Poland and the Wales game, well, for Poland, the Wales game is going to be an absolutely crucial matchup because I think to myself that if Poland can get a win over Wales, then I think that maybe they have a really good chance of trying to, you know, put up a really good performance or challenge teams like, you know, Netherlands and Belgium. So obviously, man, um, I'm super hyped up for that game and I believe that Poland will win. I'm going to say... Um, three to one victory for Poland. That's my honest, realistic prediction for the Poland and the Wales game. Now, no offense to the Wales national team because they got a pretty great squad too. I think Poland here might have the edge over Wales in terms of uh, maybe uh, midfield and defense and keeper. Well, that's all gonna, you know, uh, play out in the game. That's right. So, um, the way how I can imagine the game is going to go down is Wales, of course. I think they're going to be uh, trying to see if they can hit Poland on the counter attack as a way to... Um, see if they can get a win over Poland because realistically you know you look at Gareth Bale uh if he has an incredible free kick opportunity for Wales because let's say for example that Wales are are awarded a um a free kick against Poland then of course you know the main man to watch out for on that team is going to be Gareth Bale because obviously Gareth Bale you know him winning his fifth Champions League title with Real Madrid earlier today he's without a doubt I think going to be really looking forward to find a way how to guide Wales to victory and if Bale gets awarded a free kick then you know a Bale this is where Bale is really dangerous at and that is you know being able to score those spectacular free kicks like how he did against Austria in the World Cup qualifiers it just goes to show that Bale he still got it in terms of free kick taking you know, I personally think that for the Wales national team, that is the best free kick I've seen by Gareth Bale since I think his uh, free kick against England at Euro 2016. Because in, in all my years of watching Gareth Bale's free kicks, me personally, one Gareth Bale a uh, free kick goal that will always stand out to me is that goal against England at the, you know, at Euro 2016, you know, when he just scored an absolutely brilliant and just a very well executed free kick goal. So that's one way how... Um, how Wales can beat Poland here. While for Poland, on the other hand, one way how Poland can get that win over Wales is if, you know, Lewandowski can win those aerial duels and head those balls in because that's the way, that's what makes Lewandowski a really deadly striker in those type of situations is just his ability to be able to win aerial duels, you know, because you look at the Wales defense, um, I think that for Lewandowski, it's going to be a very big uh, 
chance that he can, you know, find the back of the net here against the Wales back four. However, the Wales back four, you know, they've been performing at times really well too. Like against Austria, you know, they were able to hold on to that victory. So um, that's realistically one way how I see Poland uh, beating Wales. One other way how I see Poland beating Wales is seeing if Poland can defensively play very, very well, like how they did in their World Cup qualifiers matchup against Sweden, you know, because Sweden, um, you know, they were really putting on a performance against Poland's back four. But thankfully, thanks to Poland's incredible defending and thanks to Szczesny's incredible goalkeeping, Poland was able to keep a clean sheet over a really good Swedish national side, you know, because you look at the Sweden national team, that could have been a winnable game for him too, you know, but, you know, thankfully everything seemed to fall inside of Poland's favor. And of course, you know, it sucks not seeing Sweden qualify for the World Cup, but, you know, a one has to qualify and Poland just happened to be that team that was able to qualify for the World Cup. So, you know, extremely happy about that and seeing how Lewandowski is going to perform at the World Cup. And I think that this um, Nations League tournament is going to be a great way for Mikhnevich to see which tactics he's going to be able to choose for the World Cup, you know, because that's what I think makes playing the Nations League such a great thing is, you know, it allows um, Mikhnevich to see, okay, which tactics do I need to do? Where will I be playing the rest of the players besides playing Lewandowski up front? And that's realistically the one way how... I think that the Nations League can be super beneficial for this Poland national team is seeing what are the weaknesses and what are the uh, flaws that still need to be fixed on the Poland national team's level. Because obviously, uh, you know, once we officially see where Poland is in what areas Poland's national team is really good at and in what other areas Poland's national team needs to improve on, then the more I think Poland can better be prepared for the World Cup, especially in a very difficult group stage over teams like uh, Mexico, Argentina, and Saudi Arabia. So that's why I think uh, the, Na the Nations League is going to be a crucial uh, opportunity for Miknovich for him to figure out which tactics of his work best. So obviously, you know, you got other players too, like Krahoviak, Glick. Um, you also have uh, Zielinski as well. So obviously, you know, one... Uh, thing that I think is going to be super crucial for Poland is seeing how well Poland's midfield can play over Wales because I feel like that if Poland's midfield can you know create chances over the Wales uh, back for defense and all that stuff then realistically that's the best way how I see Poland uh, getting that win here over Wales that's another way as for Wales though uh, they've been proven to be a team where if you give them chances then they can take advantage of them too you know but uh, for Poland, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be, um, I'm going to say, 3-1 to one victory for Poland. It, it might seem kind of like a um, like a dumb prediction, you know, because Wales, you don't want to underestimate them. At the same time, Poland's playing at home. And, you know, for Mikhnevich to get that 2-0 win over Sweden, it can absolutely be a big boost for his managerial career with the Poland national team. So, yeah, um, can't wait to see how with under Mikhnevich Poland does at, uh, you know, in their first game against Wales at the UEFA Nations League. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.